Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back out again with another Madden video for you guys. So, as you guys can see, Mud Heroes are out, Most Feared is out, so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it, man. Um, we got another little bit of a uh, little bit of a team update too, so we're gonna get into that a little bit later. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and talk about a few things. Mud, I mean, um, Most Feared is out, Mud Heroes are out. You know, this is probably one of the biggest promos of this year, and it's it's already out, man. So it did things a little bit differently have they that they've did in years past. Um, for so for Mutt Heroes, they have like a little calendar set out for us. So um, that used to appear. I don't see it anymore, but they used to have a little calendar set out about what's going to be dropping for Mutt Heroes and everything like that. But um, obviously, for most people that know, Ray Lewis is definitely going to be one of the players that's going to be out in Mud Heroes. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the other players are, but I'm looking, uh, not for Mud Heroes, but for Most Feared. Ray Lewis is going to be out for Most Feared. And I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing with a lot of the uh, other content that's out for uh, Most Feared. But um, while we wait on that, since October is right around the corner for us, we have... Mutt Heroes out. Now, I'm not going to lie, when I watched the stream on this, I wasn't really too happy about a lot of the Mutt Heroes that came out. For most people that don't know or are not quite sure of how Mutt Heroes works, it's essentially just something that pretty much help, I guess, theme teams in a sense. So, all 32 teams get a sidekick and a hero. The hero is normally 90 to 91 overall. The sidekick, I believe, is 85 to 86 overall. Um... They already have the sets out and everything. I think you can pull some of these in packs. But um, how they have it is, as you guys can see, they have a good amount of them out already. Um, 91 David Castro, uh, 91 David Battiari, um, Mitch Moore, Greg Olson, Josh Winton, Adam Thielen, Brandon Cooks. That Brandon Cooks is going to be really good for most people. David Johnson, Matthew Stafford. Now... Um, as you guys can see, there was only nine, and there's only seven on the defense. So everybody's probably wondering, where's the rest of the players? Well, they're going to be sprinkling out the rest of the players as the days go on, for those of you that didn't watch the live stream. So they have Marcus Joyner, Chris Harris Jr., Xavier Howard, which is very fast and has very good zone. But I have another corner in mind. Bobby Wagner, Matthew Judon, uh, Daron Payne, and Melvin Ingram. So... That's for the offense, that's for the defense. As you guys should know, they're going to be sprinkling out the rest of them for the offense and for the defense as they come out. And then they have the exchange set, which is 80 to 81 overall Mutt Hero sidekick and 85 to 86 Mutt Hero sidekicks. So, um, not really care, I don't really care too much about the sidekicks. Everybody only wants the heroics, obviously. Um, for most people, if you're trying to get to do a theme team, you might also want the sidekick too. But I guess it just really just does depend. I'm pretty sure a few of those guys are on the auction block. But I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the players that are out for this promo for Mutt Heroes. And we'll just go from there. I'm sure I'm going to mention some of the names over again. But um, I'm going to go through all 32 of them. Just the heroics though. I'm not going to be going over the sidekicks. So for the Bills, we have Mitch Morris. For the Broncos, we have Chris Harris Jr. For the Cardinals, we have David Johnson. For the Chargers, is Melvin Ingram. Cowboys, Jason Winton. Dolphins, Xavier Howard. Lions, Matthew Stafford. Packers, David Batiari. Pa um, Patriots. Panthers, Greg Olson. Raiders, LaMarcus Joyner. Rams, Brandon Cooks. Ravens, Matthew Judon. Redskins, Dyron Payne. Seahawks, Bobby Wagner. Steelers, Steelers are... Whoops, I missed the Steelers. Yeah, so Steelers have the um, David DeCastro. Vikings have item, um, Adam Thielen. Now, this is just for today, okay? So you guys got to keep that in mind. So for the release on 10-7, okay, there's the rest of the, not the rest, but here's just what's coming out for 10-7. Um, DeForest Buckner for the 49ers. Buccaneers have Mike, I Mike Evans. Jets have Jamal Adams, which I think is going to be a beast of a safety. Titan, Titans have um, Daniel Walker. Now, Delaney Walker, sorry. Delaney Walker. I don't know why I said Daniel. It's a long day. 
Delaney Walker. Now, not really a fan of him as a tight end, but he's a good run blocking tight end, so he might make my make his way on my team. But he's pretty expensive, so he's not gonna be something that I'm really targeting. But he'll eventually, I'm sure, make his way on my team. So, 10-9, which is two days after, they're coming out with the Bears, which is Kyle Fuller, Browns, Joel um, Batonio, Giants have Saquon Barkley. Now, if you guys didn't watch the live stream, this Saquon is an absolute beast. Base has, I believe, high 90s break tackle and 89 speed base. So, he, he's going to be an absolute animal when he comes out for sure. And then we have um, Texans have JJ Watt. And 10 10 releases begin with Bengals, Ty, um, Ty, Tyler Boyd, Colts, Malik Hooker, Jags, Jalen, motherfucking Ramsey, dog. I, I cannot wait to get this Jalen Ramsey. This is probably one of the only mutt heroes. Well, not only, but he's definitely going to be the first Mutt Hero I get on my team for sure. Saints, Drew Brees. And then 10-11, which is the last back end of Mutt Heroes releases for the Heroics. Mitchell, the Chiefs will be getting Mitch, um, Mitchell Schwartz. Eagles will be getting Fletcher Cox, which is going to be an absolute animal. Falcons is going to be getting Deion Jones. And Patriots will be getting Dante Hightower. Now... Out of all of those, like I said, there's very few that I'm interested in getting. A lot of them are I'm not very interested in getting. But I will say if I do get Saquon, he will probably stay on the team. Um, if I get um, Delaney Walker, I will probably want him on the team too. But the main person that I want and need is Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey is going to solidify my secondary for sure. And I can't wait to get him and have him on the team. Now, as far as how certain things are going to work, I believe if you guys do the solos, which I don't think they're out yet. No, they are out. So they're going to be dropping the solos just like they drop the players coming out. So as the players come out, there's like a two-day gap and then another two-day gap and another two-day gap, right? The solos are going to be coming out also the same exact way so you can do it one of two ways you can either stay on top of it and as they release the solos just get the games done or you can just wait until everybody's released and then go ahead and just get them done then but if you get a certain amount of stars for this i believe it's 140 i believe it's 140 yes so if you get 140 stars you get to earn a fantasy pack containing your choice of any not hero so you already know what time it is i don't even need to elaborate on this any more than what i haven't already you guys know i'm getting jalen ramsey 100 percent hands down all right he's probably gonna be one of the most expensive heroes out so that's where my night is going right to that jalen ramsey so like i said already um they have them out or they have some of these out for the um um, some of these that you can do now, but again, it's not going to be all of them. Like I said, they'll come out with the rest eventually. They'll have the intros and this and that, and you'll eventually be able to get enough to get the 140, and then you'll be able to get Ramsey. So, if you guys have a favorite Mutt Hero in mind, this, you gotta grind it. This will be your best bet as far as grinding when it comes to dealing with the Mutt Heroes. Um, besides that, um, we did pretty well in a few games that we've done so far. Weekend League is coming up, and I might have a special special little video for you guys um, for Weekend League. I normally don't post Weekend League games. I normally just tell you guys and then tell you the aftermath of the games afterwards. But, you know, we're going to do a little something different for this Weekend League. And you guys will see why once I make the video for it. Guys, okay, so as you guys can see, we're at the team, man, and... Um, we, we actually got uh, Gail Sayers from one of my subscribers and a follower who's been with me for a while now on Twitch. Um, he goes by the name of Ghost Jones 411 so shout out to him for uh, dropping to Gail Sayers. Um, I was live streaming and um, Todd Gurley was my starter, obviously. And um, 
He was telling me like, yo, you'll do so much better with Gale Sayers and this and that. And I was like, nah, man, I don't think I can. Like, I don't have the coin, yada, yada, yada. And he pretty much just said, you know what? I got you. So shout out to big someone who's big part of the Joker fam, man. And um, he decided to drop me a Gale Sayers, man. And, you know, from there, I just grinded him out, got, the, um, got his training up, upgraded him and everything else. Uh, jukebox, uh, backfield mismatch, and invasive. And I have Wrecking Ball as his X Factor. So, um, very, very generous, I should say, upgrades my team uh, due to, uh, again, like I said, a subscriber and a follower of the, uh, of the live stream and, again, a big part of the Joker family. Um, so, um, shout out to you, Ghost. Thank you for coming through, man. So, um, again, we're, we're not, don't have too much information on Most Feared. We know it's going to be part, it's part of the title update, um, a new X Factor ability is supposed to be coming out. Um, it's probably going to have to more or less pertain to the Ray Lewis that will probably be getting dropped in Most Feared. So I'm looking really forward to Most Feared also. But right now, the the biggest thing is uh, Mutt Heroes. So um, I can't wait to get Ramsey on my team and just straight dominate in my secondary. And that's mainly what I'm looking forward to right now. And um, outside of that, I'll keep you guys updated to any more news and anything else that comes out. Um, as a matter of fact, since we're on the subject, uh, before I forget, we actually have, we actually have limited time signature players, uh, Jarrell Casey and Russell Wilson. Um, Jarrell Casey, not really a big fan of him. He's a 91 overall, so I'm pretty sure he has some, like, good stats. But again, I, I don't think he's the type of person that will find his way on my team, personally. Um, I'm pretty much set on the D-line aspect for my team. At least I would think I am. Um, but again, we'll, we'll just go over his stats, look at him real quick. I'm kind of curious on what um, Russell Wilson's speed is, actually. But um, right now, he's coming in at 69 speed, 90 strength, 86 block shed, 92 tackling, 92 power move, 70 acceleration, 94 play rec, and 74 finesse. So the power move is very good. Um, speed, obviously, is really slow. But um, I he's compared to my Miles Jack. I mean, my Miles Jack. Miles Garrett. He's obviously better, but again, Miles Garrett doesn't run my right end spot. So um, Von Miller does, and on the left side, I have Reggie White. So um, I don't really think Jarrell Casey's better than Von, but again, it's also the fact of that he's going for 500 plus K, and I'm not spending 500 K on the right end. So you know i'm not really too worried about that but he is a very good card so you know if you guys have him with uh titans kims you know he might he might get a little boost he might be something you know worth looking out for russell wilson now coming in at uh 83 speed 87 throw short 84 throw mid 82 throw on a pressure 93 throw on a run 91 play action 88 throw deep and 86 throw power now Russell Wilson, one more speed more than Steve Young. Throw power is not there. Uh, short, not there. Medium, not there. Uh, he's got a better deep throw accuracy. Throw on the pressure is very low. And throw on the run is better, but... Uh, and play action is better. Now, I don't run a lot of play action, so that doesn't really matter to me. Um, is Russell Wilson a better card? I, I would say no. I would say no. Honestly, um, there's not much of a difference with the deep throw accuracy. So I really wouldn't worry about that. But there's a huge difference between um, the mid throw accuracy and everything else. It's in a little bit of a difference between throw power. Everything else is virtually the same outside of maybe to throw in a run. Um, but... You know, again, that's just my opinion. Um, Seahawks theme teams, okay. You know, that, that would be nice to have. But at the same time, would you pay... Would you pay $1.2 million for a quarterback? I don't think so. So, you know, I'm sticking with Steve Young. But um, those are the limited time players, the limited time signature players, I should say, for that team. And um, as you guys can see, also, I forgot that there was another upgrade that I made to my team. So we're going to go ahead and look at that real quick. But as you guys can see, I made it to level 60. So before I believe I said that, I was probably going to go to try, I was going to try to go for a, um, 
um, a defensive player, obviously, but I was going to go for, um, I forgot his name, um, Lawrence Taylor. I was going to try to go out for Lawrence Taylor, but um, I decided against it. I decided against it because after I found out that Jalen Ramsey was going to be getting an upgrade, a well-deserved upgrade, I should say, so I kind of knew he was going to get his Mud Heroes upgrade, I decided to go with a corner, which is Darius Slay. Now, the reason my corners are so stacked is because, compared to my linebackers, obviously, is because, like I said before in my previous videos and then some of my gameplay videos that I posted, I run a lot of nickel over G, so my defense is primarily consisted around my corners and good corners, I might add. So, um, that's why I base it off of um, Darius Slay. I have him moving all over the field, but pretty much what it's going to come down to, I believe, is that I'm going to have Ramsey on the outside on one side, um, Darius Slay on the other. I'm still going to keep my users and everything else the same. And I'll probably have to either get rid of, it's probably going to be Mel Renfro. Um, Seahorn has good speed and good height. And, you know, even Mel Renfro is good, but, you know, Jason Seahorn is better. And it's definitely out of those out of those two corners because Gilmore is definitely going to get an upgrade. Ramsey is going to continue to get upgrades. And whether or not Slate is going to get an upgrade, he is still a 90 speed corner that has great zone. So he's not going anywhere. And um, yeah, we'll see where we go from here. Um, but yeah, I might do a little bit more to the secondary, thinking about picking up uh, Ken Houston possibly. And um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see. I guess it also depends if Amos ever gets an upgrade too. Um, depends on a lot. It really does. But right now, that's the team. Those are the two biggest upgrades we made, which is Slay and we picked up um, Gail Sayers. Uh, once again, shout out to my man Ghost for for that hookup. And uh, that's it, man. Um, Most Fears coming out real soon. It's going to be right around the corner, I believe. Um, not exactly sure when they're going to start rolling out Most Fear content, but it is coming soon. All right. Well, obviously in October, so it's definitely going to be right around the corner. Mud Heroes is here. Um, you guys feel free to comment down below who's your who's going to be your Mutt Hero um, heroic hero to pick out of the 32. I know some people already got one in mind or got two, maybe three in mind. So let me know in the comment section below um, who you want, who you guys want for Mutt Heroes. Um, like I said, I already want Ramsey already, so that's what I'm getting. And um, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And um, thank you for coming through. And like I said, I have another video possibly rolling out at some point throughout this weekend. And um, it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be real special. So tune in for that. And um, thank you for coming through. Peace.